Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about prior art research <coughs> and our patent uh, process of patenting. Okay, filing of a publication with IPO, publishing, examination, grant of the patent. These are the four major steps that we discussed in the previous class. <coughs> but before you apply for a patent, we have to go understand. Uh, we have to go for the first and foremost process that is. We need to make sure that uh, the whatever patent you are uh, writing <coughs> or filing that is not available in any of uh, uh, what you say the public domain. Maybe it is uh, the scholarly articles where the journals publish or the uh, uh, research article review articles or it can be the patent uh, websites or it can be the normal social medias okay anything okay just make sure that your work is not available in the public domain as of now before going for uh, patenting if at all still uh, without searching you just go for this thing then somewhere someone might have been published that works not published that uh, concept then you cannot <coughs> you won't get patent so let's start the <coughs> first thing is there are 10 sub topics are there for this topic um, so prayer art search is the first topic which is uh, must before filing a patent. So before an inventor embarks upon the patent filing process, he has to ensure that his invention is novel as per the criterion for the grant of patent. So if you want to get your patent to be granted, then make sure that your invention is completely new or some innovation you have done. Okay. So for this, we have to check whether or not his invention already exists in the public domain. So sometimes accidentally we'll end up with doing this thing uh, and you, you you may end up with becoming a patent infringement so to avoid that you have to go for the this particular you know public you to check prior or search so for this he needs to read patent documents that is via patent official records next non-patent literature that is npl scientific journals he has to read reports magazines all those things he has to check uh, so that uh, his work is, I mean, whatever he is going for a patent is not already being published by someone else. Now, the information lying in the public domain in any form, if any information is there regarding your patent, it's already published in any domains, either before filing a patent application or prior to the date of the patent application claiming the invention, it is termed as prior art. Understood? So, any, whatever the information is already available in the public domain in any form. <coughs> Okay, before filing your patent, that is called as prior art. So you need to search if any prior art is there. So conducting a prior art, a prior art search before filing a patent has advantages. What are the advantages? First of all, you can avoid infringement, right? Imagine you are going for a patent and you have not searched whether uh, these this information, this kind of uh, title or this device is not there in the market. Then how you can say it is a novel? So you have to go for the prior art search, then only we can uh, say that, so that infringement will, we can avoid, then track, it also tracks the research and development. You can give, have a keep, you know, track on research and development. If that device is already existing, you can always improvise it and bring some new feature and you can go for a patent. Next, provides access to detailed information on the invention. It also gives you the complete information regarding the invention of a particular product. <coughs> So the prior art search is carried out in parameter like uh, based on the many parameters we are having novelty you are going to check to whether it is novel or not by doing the prior art search next patentability whether your work is patentable or not next state of the art what exactly the state of that particular art next infringement validity freedom to operate all these things will act as a different parameters to be considered in prior art search now the commonly used databases for prior art search fall into two categories one is patent databases another is non-patent literature patent databases in two types paid is there unpaid is there okay these are some of the examples which is given indian patent advanced search system is again unpaid patent scope okay espas and espas and it next us pto that is us patent office next google patents these all are what unpaid you can always search there okay regarding if you are already if your work has already been published or not something like that to check that next orbit intelligence and you know, our derivant innovation 
pro price these are all paid versions okay their website link is given in the patent databases these are all patent databases where if already existing patent is there in the given title or a given device uh, what you are claiming that will be displayed there <coughs> then non patent literature not only the just patent uh, platforms you have to check you have to go for the non patent literature also it can be the scholarly publications maybe handbooks textbooks withdrawn patents the withdrawn patents are nothing but those patents which are withdrawn by the inventor or maybe it has been rejected so encyclopedias journals okay journals can be from different publishers like i travel is one of the publisher then in research gate also it's a hub for a research gate how we have for instagram for your normal social life similarly for researchers like you have you are having the research gate experiencer is one of the publisher media online uh, library publishers so these all publishers will have you know it's cooper series science direct is many are there okay then you are having dissertations in cbis pubmed is there where all uh, uh publications of related to medical will be there and then conference proceedings of any conference happening happening happened in all over the world next technical reports public conferences all these things should be you know you should be searching it <coughs> okay so then only you can say that oh my work is totally new i can go for a patent next industry or trade publication the here industry reviews will be there public disclosures will be there like social media youtube books magazines data sheets blueprints etc all these the there also you have to check if the work invention is there or not next others newspapers website technology blogs researchers website magazines all these things comes under npl that is non patent literature this is where patent offices you are going to search whether the uh, particular work is been published or not or available or not this is like where, where uh, non patent literature where in other literatures uh, where uh, except from the patent uh, websites so next topic is choice of application to be filed that we will discuss in the later so in this topic you understood now here the conclusion is just make sure that you, whatever you are going to file a patent okay maybe a device design idea whatever it is that should not be available in any public domain take it as a patent or, or databases or take it in a scholarly publications maybe your trade or publications or maybe in others like newspapers websites social media youtube map and status it's all these things okay next topic of choice of application to be filed that we will discuss in the next class <coughs>